Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to be looking at a very important feature, disarming. As a feature, it applies mainly to IP active deterrence cameras, and so we're going to be demonstrating it with our IP active deterrence PTZ today. So what is disarming? Disarming, as the name implies, allows you to disarm a camera, meaning to temporarily deactivate the camera's lights and sirens. However, it's worth noting that push notifications will still be sent and intrusion events will still be logged by the system. There are a few different ways to disarm a camera. Let's go through some of the most commonly used ones now. I find that the most commonly used way to disarm a camera is in the corner of the live view of the camera you want to disarm in the form of a small bell icon. And for a short term, one-off disarming, just toggling this from its red armed state is the quickest way to disarm a camera. You can see here it goes to being greyed out with a line through it to show that it's disarmed. And as you can see, the cameras are now disarmed. But if we toggle it back to its armed state, the lights will now trigger. You can also disarm the cameras from within the DMSS app. Just find the system you want to disarm, press the three dots next to it, then device details, and you can toggle on what's referred to as disable alarm linkage. And the camera is now disarmed, as you can see. Something else worth looking at when it comes to disarming is in the alarm section of the main menu. If we right click and go to main menu, alarm, disarming, you'll see that here it says sync disarm config with channels. And what this does is it allows you to select which cameras the disarming actions we've discussed applies to. Any camera that isn't highlighted has been excluded from disarming. And this might be because you have one camera looking at a particularly important area. And so you want to make it an exception from whatever disarming is going on and keep it constantly armed. And for certain recorders, you can also set the system up to be armed and disarmed by a physical switch. Obviously this one is just for demonstration purposes, but in theory, as you leave the house, you would flip a switch, it would arm the system and... And it doesn't just need to be a switch like this, it could be anything with a normally open, normally closed contact, a keypad, a key switch, anything like that. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S-Pro.